Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So today we're going to be showing you how to dress one dress in different ways. So for me, I have this on this black basic long sleeve kind of dress. And I believe you guys have something like this or similar in your own closet because it's so basic and it just pairs with everything. For my first look, I'm just going to be styling this dress as it is. So I just chose a simple belt. You can literally go with any belt you want or any belt that you have. And it just gives that pop of something, of accessory, and it kind of just elongates your legs and also since just in your waist, so that's good. And after this, just going to be layering on with a coat. Simple coat here. This is a checkered plaid coat from Shopo. And it's just, I think kind of like a basic pea coat that you would have during the fall or even in the winter. It's kind of long, so that's good. <laughs> no throwing my 5K purses, please. <laughs> so I think this look is perfect for those of you who work in an office. Or for those of you who like that slightly formal wear, pairing it with some black sock booties. Okay, so the next outfit is a little bit more edgier, grungier. So you guys know I love, love, love these moto skirts. So this one I have, this faux moto skirt I have from Topshop. It also comes in a one piece. I'm wearing a size US 2 or extra small, I believe. So you just layer it on like this. Ta-da! Done! <laughs> Okay, well, I'm done for the inner part. So I think you can just go out like that. If you're in like Australia, you can totally just go out like that right now at the season, um, pairing it with kind of like lace up booties for that grungier effect. And then for the coat, I thought I would pair it with kind of like a contrasting feel. So this is a teddy coat. I'll come closer. This teddy coat is, I would have to say, it's my favorite teddy coat of all teddy coats because it is just so cozy. It feels like you have a teddy bear and it's hugging you. Like you have a teddy bear hug. And it's so, so, so cozy. I wish you guys can feel it. But even though you think it may not go well with the grungier look, I actually think it ties it off pretty nicely. Especially if you don't want to go super like 400% grunge. And I also think it's cute if you're pairing it with kind of like a neutral purse. Like something like a bucket bag like this. So this look would be perfect if you're going with your friends to like a concert or if you're going to like see some live music. Okay guys, so for the next look, I thought it would be cute to kind of pair this with an overall dress. What do you call this? Overall dress? Pinafore dress? There's like different retailers call it different things. I like to call it an overall dress. Basically it looks like this. I really love the pattern too because it's plaid. Plaid for life. I've been seeing these kind of like layer on pinafore dress so much this season. And I just think it's like a cute way to dress up your basic top or your basic dress. So something like this. So this coat is like a teddy coat. I'll come closer so you guys can see. This is so fluffy. Like it's so soft. Like if you're gonna be wearing this on your body, people are gonna be filling you up. You might fill yourself up. <laughs> is that something that can go on YouTube? You can wear it out with your girlfriends. You can wear it out to lunch, to coffee. I'm going with this purse because it's just like a simple faux leather purse. Can't really go wrong with it. Okay guys, so the next one I thought it would be cute to kind of layer on a baggy chunky sweater over this dress. So I have here this beige looking Chanel knit type sweater. It's also from Shopo. Um, the sizing is really flexible because this one comes in a size small slash medium. So I guess it really, if you're in between the sizes, it will really fit you. So this is like an oversized knit sweater that's kind of having like a relaxed fit. And the sleeves have this lantern detail like this. It's so warm, you guys. Like I'm wearing this indoors right now and I'm sweating. And to further tie in your look, I would suggest going with something like a belt bag. So yeah, this is the belt bag that I went with. It's just super casual, super simple. You can put your phone in there. I have my phone there right now. <laughs> But yeah, having a belt bag like this enables you to tuck your sweater kind of in. So you can tuck it in the belt in the beginning and then let the sides flow out like this. And I think to further up the coziness factor, you can also go for a scarf. This scarf has like super neutral tones. It has a plaid pattern, of course. 
I don't go with plaid, who am I even? And this has got like this frayed hem line down here, which is so cute. Love the pastel tones in the scarf. Um, of course, if you're cold, you can always layer on a coat and, you know, tie the scarf up like this. Also pairing it with like a camel kind of tone booties that matches the sweater top. Okay guys, so the next look I thought I would layer on the simple skirt. So this is a skirt from Shopo again. It's a gray skirt with kind of checkered detail and it's super thick, so perfect for winter. Comes in this like one piece thing. So yeah, so this is what it looks like with the skirt on. And I think this outfit is just like cool enough and casual enough that you can just wear this as is. Um, so I'm gonna pair it with the purse. So I chose kind of like a darker tone purse to go with it. It's also my new baby. So this coat is super, super comfy and super warm. Like it's made of faux fur. So these long shards of faux fur and it has like a polyester lining like this, but it's actually not very thin. So it's actually pretty warm like for winter. So it's perfect for outfits like this because it just gives it that some kind of like glam look because it's faux fur and also it's faux fur, you know, you're not harming any animals. What do you guys think? I also paired it with um, some black OTKs because, you know, OTKs always go well with skirts. So for the final look, I thought it would be cool to showcase some warmer winters because I know not everyone lives in the colder climate. So this is perfect if you live in LA or if you experience a slightly warmer winter this year this is something that you can try so i'm just pairing this dress i have a dress and there's the same dress and i'm just wearing this circle skirt over it see skirt and this way it's also perf proof because you know like you can be stunning right and now i can look up your skirt <laughs> i'm pairing it with this kind of um, mustard tone boots because i'm going to be featuring a mustard sweater cardigan <laughs> so this cardigan is mustard in color and I think it matches my boots really well and I don't know there's something about this cardigan that gives it such a cozy vibe like it's so cozy so homey I feel like you can just like chill at home even in this cardigan if you're not wearing this as a base you can even just like wear like a t-shirt in your pajamas and like have this cardigan over it and be super super cozy I think this is a cute outfit on its own but if you want the extra something for layering you can also put on a scarf white scarf basic <laughs> I think it's cute too without the cardigan so you can kind of like play around with this outfit and see what you want to take out and what you want to put on if it's too cold you can also wear a hat this <laughs> my head's obviously too big for this hat because I have a ponytail on that's why <laughs> so yeah this is a duke that I think this now you're like perfectly dressed to go ice skating like ice skating in LA kind of ice skating Okay guys, so we've come to the end of this try-on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. It's my first time showcasing multiple outfits with one base item. So if you want to see more of these things, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below on what you want to see next. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Oh, don't forget, everything that I'm wearing in this video is going to be linked in the description box down below. So if you want to see where everything I got, just make sure you click on the links. Bye!